We got a new space at the castle. We will have a vacuum laboratory here and a machine shop here. Back in 2013, I was searching for more space for my Nixie tube experiments and I found that the nearby village Březulpy was offering free rooms at the castle that they owned. The price for the rent was fair and uh, it was also the closest place to my home that I could find. So. I decided and rented my first room there. Now looking back, maybe it wasn't completely a decision based on rational reasons. I'm a little bit obsessed with old things and this for sure played a role in it. Anyway, these were my first 31 square meters at a castle. I use it as a workshop and I move all my equipment in there except the glass working stuff that I kept in my garden shed that I just finished. Six months later the room was already flooded with stuff so I had to take another room. Another 43 square meters. I used that new room to build the first version of the pumping and filling system for our Nixie tubes. And with this room, I finally had enough space to finish the first tubes that I could sell to customers. I had 74 square meters for cleaning and assembly at the castle and 30 square meters for glass working at the garden shed. Soon I ran out of space and also my family savings that we had from the previous business. So before taking more rooms, I had to wait for another whole year. Finally, in 2015, I took the risk and being encouraged by our customers, I asked Mayer for another room, a bigger one, 59 square meters. It was so much space that I could move all the remaining equipment from the garden shed and having all our stuff under one roof made our work so much more efficient. Since 2016, the Nixie tube production was finally, thanks to our customers, financially independent and we are able to cover all our costs by selling our Nixie clocks and Nixie tubes. We took two more rooms, an additional 90 square meters. One of them became a machine shop with a lathe and a milling machine and some other tools. And the second became our place for building and packing the clocks. In the next three years, we were working on these 223 square meters. The only addition that we made was a 15 square meters changing room. And I took a small room in the third floor and I turned it into my office. We again run out of space. And the last remaining space at the castle are these three rooms, like this one, then this one, and uh, one little uh, in the other part of the building. So let's check out this first one. So this is the biggest one, it might be around 60 or 70 square meters. And uh, I'm planning to move here all the dirty work from the workshop. So the workshop will completely move in this room. And the other room I'm planning to transform into a vacuum laboratory. Uh, I mentioned in the update video at the beginning of this year that I'm planning to make a machine that will analyze gas inside an exit tube. This machine should help us to make our tubes more resistant to cathode poisoning. And this will be done here in this place because we don't really have a place where we could build a machine like this because all our other rooms are quite dirty or there is no space for a build like this. So this will be done here. 
this is going to be quite a lot of work and on top of this we have the other projects like the H-tube running so uh, we need to find a way how to arrange all the things that we can make everything at the same time and uh, I'm planning to involve more of my colleagues uh, because I don't want to make everything myself especially the, the organization which is really time consuming and once this is finished I'm sure that it will help us to do all the things a little bit better than we do them now so stay tuned I will make videos from the build and uh, I will publish them here on YouTube thanks for watching and see you next time Five, two, one.